Yes. Milakshana, you are first now. Right, ma'am. Yes, Vachu. So, we have done the chapter after uh, the, I just repeat the paragraph again. Uh, we left yesterday. Back home at 2.30, Bipin Babu lay down in bed and tried to gather his bits together. Again, he started thinking. He knew that it was possible to lose one's memory through an injury in the head. But he didn't know of a single instance of someone remembering everything except <clears throat> one particular incident. Means he just got it that if someone gets injury in the head, so he can forget he can he has this uh, knowledge. But he didn't have any such injury. And a fairly recent and significant one at that. He know uh, a single instance of someone remembering everything except one particular incident. And he haven't heard that he a particular incident This was happening to him actually. He had always wanted to go to Ranchi to have gone there, done things and not to remember was something utterly impossible. But he just couldn't recall that he had gone to Ranchi. At 7.30, Bipin Babu's servant came and announced, Chunni Babu, sir, says it's very important. Bipin Babu knew that Chunni had come for. Chunni Lal had been at school with him. Now mark this paragraph important. You should be clear about this, that different names are there. You should know all the characters. You should remember all the characters who mentioned where. And this is the main uh, chapter is about Bipin Babu and Chunni Lal. Now he entered the scene. Chunni Lal had been at school with him. It was uh, He was his school friend. He had been having a rough time lately. Rough time is tough time. And had been coming to him see him about a job. He had been coming to him to get some kind of help to get job, not money. Bipin Babu knew it was not possible to do anything. But he was helpless. Bipin Babu was not able to do something to help him. In fact, told him so. And he told him that he is not able to help him. But Chunni kept turning up like a bad guy. And, but he was coming back like a bad penny means again and again he was visiting him. Bad penny is we use kya kya because bad penny means chota sikka. Whenever we try to use it in the market, it comes back to us. Some other kuch pata note, kuch kharaab note dekhe hai, to humme jo seller hota hoa dheta na, ki nahi, aap iski jaga dousa dheta hai. Likely karte hai. Aur chota sikka bhi bilkul nahi chalta. Bipin Babu sent words that not only was it not possible for him to see Chunni now, but not in several weeks. Say weeks they was for drop the data. But as soon as the servant stepped out of the room, it struck Bipin Babu that Chunni might remember something about the 58th trip. There was no harm in asking him. Lekin yaha pe uske dimag mein ekdam se, he just bought in a second ki mudhe Chunni lal se baat karni chalye. Why? Because he wanted to clear his doubt. Bipin Babu hurried down the stairs and into the living room. Chunni was about to leave. Chunni, La, Chunni, was, Chunni Lal was leaving. But seeing Bipin Babu appear, he turned round hopefully. But when he saw, Chunni Lal noted that uh, Bipin Babu is coming down. So he just turned round hopefully. Bipin Babu didn't beat about the dish. Beat about the dish means don't talk about plastic. Bipin Babu ne koi fal to baat kuchhi. Listen Chunni. I want to ask you something. You have a good memory and you have been seeing me off and on for a long time. Just throw your mind back and tell me, tell me, did I go to Ranchi in 58? Chunni said, 58. It must have been 58 or was it 59? He said that he must have gone there in 58 or 59. You are sure that I did go to Ranchi? Chunni's look of amazement was not unmixed with worry. Do you know, do you mean you have doubts about having gone, to, gone at all? Now Chunni Lal, he just counter questioned him that uh, do you have any doubt? Did I go? I did. Uh, do you remember clearly? Chunni sat down on the sofa, fixed Bipin Babu with a long hard stare and said, stare hota constantly kisi ko observe karna, that is staring. He just stared Chunni Lal and said, Bipin, 
have you taken uh, chunni sat down on the sofa fixed bipin babu with a long hard stare chunni lal is staring at bipin babu and said have you taken to drugs or something kuch le rahe ho koi dawa le rahe ho kya as far as i know you had a clean record where such things were concerned means you have a very good memory i know that old friendships that don't mean much to much to you but at least you had a good memory you can't really mean that you have forgotten about the ranchi trip you have a good memory i am confident i am your, uh, one of your old friends bipin babu had to turn away from chunni's incredulous stare do you remember what my job was he just asked him does he remember do you remember that my last job what my last job was asked chunni lal he i quest to counter question him of course you worked in a travel agency you remember that you don't remember that it was i who fixed up your day trip booking for ranchi i went to the station to see you all one of the fans in your compartment was not working i got an electrician to fix it have you forgotten everything whatever have you forgotten everything whatever is the matter with you you don't look too well you know now chunni lal here and adds more information that he had fixed the seat uh, he has go, uh, just got his reservation and then the uh, fan was not working or he helped him in the compartment Bipin Babu sighed and shook his head. Bipin Babu shook his head. I have been working too hard, he said at last. That must be the reason. Must see about consulting a specialist. Now I should consult a specialist. Doubtless it was Bipin's condition which made Chunnilal leave without mentioning anything about a job. Now Bipin Babu just having a doubtless. It doubtless it was Bipin's condition. Which made Chunni Lal leave without mentioning anything about a job. Means just observing his condition, Chunni Lal didn't talk about his job. Prej Chanda was a young physician with a pair of bright eyes and a sharp nose. He became thoughtful when he heard about Bipin Babu's symptoms. Now, when Bipin Babu now he visited, he visits Prej Chanda. <clears throat> Look, Doctor Chanda said Bipin Babu desperately. You must cure me of this horrible illness. I can't tell you how it's affecting my work. Doctor Chanda shook his head. You know what, Mr. Chaudhary? I have never had to deal with a case such as yours. Frankly, this is quite outside my field of experience. But I have one suggestion. I don't know if it will work, but it's worth a try. I can do no. It can do no. Bipin Babu leaned forward and whispered, "As far as I can make out," said Doctor Chanda, "and I think you are of the same opinion. You must have been to Ranchi, but due to some unknown reason, the entire episode has slipped out of your mind." Now, doctors gave him some suggestion. What I suggest is that you go to Ranchi once again. The sight of the place may remind you of your trip. This is not impossible. More than that, I can do at the moment. I am prescribing a nerve tonic and a tranquilizer. Is a, a tranquilizer help to rest for so, for some kind of brain rest, <clears throat> mental rest. Sleep is essential, or the symptoms well symptoms will go will get more pronounced. Means you will get good effects if you take some rest or visit Ranchi to confirm. Bipin Babu felt somewhat better the next morning after breakfast. He rang up his office, gave some instructions, and then procured a first-class ticket for Ranchi for the same evening. Now he went to Ranchi. Getting off the train at Ranchi next morning, he realized at once that he had never been there before. As the moment he stepped on the uh, at the railway station. He just got. एक दम से हम जब हम किसी जगह पे पहले आए होते हैं ना तो हमारे दिमाग में कुछ glimpses होते हैं कि हम यहाँ पे पहले आ चुके हैं. But he could not recollect such uh, memories or uh, some recollections. He came out of the station, took a taxi, and drove around the town for a for a while. Now he's uh, thought of taking the round of the town. He realized that the streets, the buildings, the hotels, the bazaars, the Morabali Hill. 
did none of these had he the slightest acquaintance to intense of having some knowledge or uh, earlier visited he just visited all these places visits these places and he feels that he had never visited now would a trip to the hudri falls could uh, help he didn't believe so but at the same time he didn't wish to leave with the feeling that he had not tried enough अब वो कोई भी ऐसा चांस नहीं छोड़ना चाहता था कि उसने कुछ छोड़ दिया वहां पे सो ही विजिटेड गुडू फॉल्स एज दैट पर्सन मेंशन दैट ही हैड अ फॉल एट द गुडू फॉल्स सो ही अरेंज्ड फॉर अ कार लेफ्ट फॉर गुडू इन द आफ्टरनून एट 5:00 द सेम आफ्टरनून इन गुडू टू गुजराती जेंटलमैन फ्रॉम अ ग्रुप ऑफ पिकनिकर्स डिस्कवर्ड द बिन बाबू लाइंग अनकॉन्शियस बाय द Boulder. Now, some person found him lying there. When he came down, meaning he came to came back to his conscious, he got unconscious there. The first thing Bipin Babu said was, "I am finished. There is no hope left." Means he here he feels that he has lost his memory. He has got some kind of disease, or he is having some problem. Next morning, Bipin Babu was back in bed. He realized that there was truly really no hope for him. He just got it. Means he just lost his confidence fully. Why he got unconscious here? Because earlier we have read that he was just confident of his memory, of his intelligence, everything, of his wit and all. But now he just get that he was getting out of it. He was not having good memory. He was losing his mind, or some we can say in other words, he had got some disease. Now. He realized that there was really no hope for him. Soon he would lose everything: his will to work, his confidence, his ability, his balance of mind. Was he going to end up in the asylum? At asylum, the asylum is the place uh, where we keep the people who are not having balance of mind, good balance of mind, or some kind of psychological problems. Bipin Babu couldn't think. In same with Kamal. Bipin Babu couldn't think anymore. Back home, he rang up Doctor Chanda and asked him to come over. Then, after a shower, he got into bed with an ice bag slammed on his head. Just then, the servant brought him a letter which someone had left in the letter box. Now he is back his home, and after having a shower, he just get, uh, his servant and informs him that he has a letter. A greenish envelope with his name in red ink on it. Above the name, it said, "Urgent and confidential." In spite of his condition, Bipin Babu had a feeling that he ought to go through the letter. He tore open the envelope and took out the letter. He just opened the envelope. This is what he read. Now these are the words written in the letter. Dear Bipin, dear Bipin, I had no idea that affluence would bring the ba. the kind of change in you that it has done this is the affluence means this a kind of friend was it so difficult for you to help out an old friend down on his luck kya tumhare liye kisi ek purane dost ki madad karna itna mushkil tha i have no money so my resources are limited limited but i have an imagination a part of which i used in retribution to your unfeeling behavior what i thought of as a punishment for you retribution is a punishment but how i just thought of punishing you to just have a prank with you to play a prank on you well you will be all right again now you are all right mujhe nahi malum tha ki ye prank ye appearance itna zyada tum pe effect karega but now i accept A novel I have written is being considered by a publisher. Now, novel of Chundi Lal was going to be published. If he likes it enough, it will see me. It will see me through the next few months. Means I have got some hope that I will get my novel will be published. Yours, Chundi Lal. Now, see here is the clearance of the all the doubts are clear. Means all this bank was. Played by it was the reason of uh, just uh, that uh, Chunni Lal he created this confusion he created this all suspense 
made him feel that how you feel when you are in crucial situations. When Dr. Chanda came, Bipin Babu said, I am fine. It all came back as soon as I got off the train at Manchi. Now, the specialist, he visits him. And Doc, uh, this Bipin Babu he informs him that he's all right. He's, Bipin Babu now, he, got, he just realized that he was all right. <clears throat> A unique case, said Dr. Chanda. I shall certainly write about it in a medical journal. Now, you, if you remember, Dr. Chanda has said that he, uh, he had never, he never, he does not have any experience. He told him that he didn't have such kind of case like him, that uh, a person just uh, lost his memory for, uh, or a particular part of his memory it was uh, very, we can say uh, different case. The reason why I sent for you, said Bipin Babu, is that I have a pain in the hip from a fall I had in Ranchi. If you could prescribe a painkiller. Again, he uh, fell there and uh, he was having problem. So, uh, he just asked the doctor to help him. That.